All right, welcome to Motivation Monday. Today's episode will be about knowing your worth. And a lot of times most people don't know their value, don't know how really priceless they are. And so they end up spending their time on, on things that will, that will limit their ability to grow, limit their ability to be successful. And so one of the things we do when we go out and I speak and I go to all these schools and I'm talking, I, I love to do this thing to let people know, I mean, you're worth, you're valuable, that, that without you, we couldn't complete the big picture that we all have in place. So I will take this, I'll pull out a $20 bill, which is what I got here now. And I will ask everyone, like how many of y'all uh, uh, would like to have a $20 bill? And all the people will raise their hand and, and I'll ask them, how much is a $20 bill worth? And they would go, $20. And so, and just like we would tell you it's $20. So then I would fold the $20 bill just through the example. And then I go, how much is it worth? And they go, $20. So would you take a folded up $20 bill? And they go, yes. Then I'll take this and I will bald it up. And then I'd ask them, would you take this $20 bill? And they go, yes. I said, how much is it worth? They said, it's $20. And then I would go and then I would do as if I'm going to tear it. And I would go just like this. And, and I would act like I'm gonna tear. And at this point in time, especially dealing with elementary kids, the kids would begin to scream, no, 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 don't tear it, don't tear it. And I don't, I don't tear it, but I'll stop and then I'll explain the power of value. And I would say, no matter what this $20 bill had been through, it's still valuable. I folded it and, and it was still $20. It was still worth $20. I crumpled it up. It was still worth $20. And to this point where I want all of you to know that no matter what you've been through, you're still valuable. You're still worth it. That there's, no, there's not a thing in this world that you've gone through that could take your worth away. Know your value, know that you're accepted. I, I would challenge you right now to quit auditioning for friendships and people who won't accept you for the way you are and cause you to do things just to get their attention. At this point, you stop and say, no, I know my worth, I know my value, I know I'm accepted. And no matter what I've been through, no matter what abuse, no matter what hurt, no matter who's abandoned me, that does not change the fact that I have a life worth living. I've got a chance to do something great and I'm gonna take advantage of that greatness. And so as you begin to rise up and lift yourself up, begin to make history right now, right today, you may be the first one in your family that outlives a destructive lifestyle, a destructive behavior. Uh, Mike Twin and I, we are outliving currently a lifestyle from a destructive behavior of, of, of people who used to drink in our family and we just said no more. We're gonna be men who are sober and I would challenge you to be the first one. If you have a, a case of, of people using drugs in your family, say no, I've worked too much, I got too much to do. My life is too valuable for me to spend it on drugs or alcohol or spend it wasting my life. So as you know your worth, you'll know that it's worth taking time to invest in yourself. Take time to read a book. Take time to uh, be encouraging. Take time to work out. Take time to do something for yourself that would lift you up and encourage you. And at this point too, I take and I go like this twin on a bill. When I'm about to tear it, kids usually go just crazy screaming, no, no, no. And then and, and I will stop and I will tell them, then that's the same thing that should happen on your campus. When you're walking by someone, if you hear someone making fun of another person, you should be the first one to speak up and say, no, don't tear that person down. They're too valuable. Don't tear that person apart because they may, can, they may not be able to dress like us or uh, be able to uh, be as athletic as we are, but they are still a valuable human being for our campus. So as you begin to stop that, just like the $20 bill that, that they never received, they would fight for it, they would hunger for it. They would go like, man, that has $20, but so is your classmate. Your classmate is worth you encouraging. Your classmate is worth you giving them that time and attention to say, hey, look, no matter what you've been through, I'm going to welcome you. You may have some creases in some areas of your life that I don't have, and I may have some creases that you don't have, but all together, if we band together, we'll understand that our worth is greater than anything that could happen on this earth. And I, I hopefully that, 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 that you build yourself up. And one thing you begin to say to yourself is that I am able to do all the things that I desire to do, that I'm not gonna let something get in front of me and stop me. I'm not gonna let someone's opinion about me stop me. And so I cancel auditions. If they don't accept me for the way I am, if they can't accept me for just being me, I'm going to move on because I know my worth. And like the $20 bill, there's times where you're gonna look, not look your best or not be able to even be your best, but that doesn't make you less. 
and realize your best is how you know and feel about who you are as a person. So we're gonna make it a great motivational day that you're gonna rise up and know your worth, know your value. Don't spend your time worried about what other people say or think. Spend your time growing in who you are as a person. Spend your time growing in your life and in the relationship that you know that you can have. And as you begin to step up and believe in who you are, there's absolutely nothing that can knock you down. And as that peace begin to shed on you, you're gonna know, hey, look, I'm not gonna spend my worth, I'm not gonna spend my value on getting in trouble or, or, or not fulfilling dreams and purposes that I have in my life that I'm so valuable, I'm gonna spend myself on fulfilling a purpose and a dream. I'm worth it, you're worth it. And that's absolutely nothing that you've gone through can stop that worth from growing in your life. As you continue this day, as you start your Monday off, you start it off with a motivational time and you say, look, this is my increase. I realize that I've got a worth that is worth living. And as you begin to rise up, and, and I've seen it so many times where a student even come up to me and say, I know my value, I know that I'm worth something, it doesn't matter how long or how bad things have ever gotten in my life, this explanation shows that I am worth spending time with, I am worth investing in, I am worth believing in. And as you begin to lift up your head and be encouraged, go ahead and take that. Go ahead and, and, and enjoy that value, especially as you start off the week. And during this time where we're dealing with, with, with this virus, the, the one thing you want to do is be able to give that and share to others. So I challenge, here's my challenge to you, is to call a friend and, and talk to at least two people uh, today and just tell them that they're worth Tell them about their worth, tell them that they're valuable, that how much you need them in your life, how much they've meant to you as a friend, how much that, that you've been able to talk to them when you couldn't talk to anyone else. You were They were that person that, that encouraged you that whenever you were down, you have that person you can run to. I want you to be that person. I want you to find people that you go to and turn to and begin to tell them and challenge them to know that they are valuable. And begin to do this as, as a way, as an act of growing your community, uh, growing our nation, but ultimately growing our world. We need people just like you and just like myself that be able to step up and say, I know my worth, I know that I'm accepted, I know that no one can steal that from me, and I'm going to accept myself. And the absolute best thing that's gonna happen out of this is you begin to grow people's worth, people are gonna be able to see themselves as valuable and gonna be able to see themselves as, as people that is worth being respected. And then we know that we, we grow toward those things that we respect. So what we respect, we attract. And if you are respecting someone and you respect what they have to say, you'll be attracted to what they have to say and what they're going to be saying to you throughout their entire life. So let's grow together during this time. Let's grow together. My seniors of 2020, this is a greater time to ever. You're the most valuable seniors. You're the most valuable class. You're the most valuable representation right now that I believe in that for something to happen like this during your year, the way I look at it, the way my twin and I look at this, when you go through something or something comes up against you this strong, like this coronavirus has come up during your major time of celebration, you must have a special, special purpose for the for the for this entire nation and the world and the general in your generation i believe there are some life changers i believe there are some people who are going to find cures for uh uncommon diseases and cancer and i i think that you guys are breaking through like never before there's a reason why there's this fight is so big against this class because i believe this class high schoolers and college people and all the folks that are that are, are finishing up school in this time I believe this class has a special assignment that you're gonna do some great and amazing things. And I just wanna encourage you to make sure you keep that in mind where it seems like everything is being stripped away. Your value, your character cannot be taken away from you, that you are being accepted, you are being rewarded, you're gonna be stronger than ever before. You're gonna take us and, and you're gonna grow all of, all of us who have passed you and other generations, and we're gonna be able to lean on such a strong group for this thing that you've gone through. What looked to be a bad thing, you're gonna turn it around for the greatest time, greatest class ever. I wanna leave you with this one last thing and after that, 
with the challenge that we have going forth. That for you to know that as you begin to accept yourself, it'll help you accept others. You cannot give what you do not have. And if you're unwilling to accept yourself, uh, it's gonna be hard for you to accept others and trust others. I challenge you that, that's my second challenge to you, is to trust yourself. Begin to turn that belief and begin to believe in yourself. Begin to take that back and begin to take that reward back and say, you know what, I'm here, I'm gonna do my best, I'm gonna be awesome in everything that I do, and you too is going to finish in that worthwhile column and say that I've got value and I'm accepted. You guys have a great, great week. I can't wait to hear some of your feedback and challenges. Please don't hesitate to write us and, and let us know. Send us comments on how your week went, and we'll see you next Monday.